You no, know, the protests have been relatively peaceful here in Mississippi. I spoke to U.S. Representative Michael Gass to see how he feels about the protests as a whole and whether protests could get violent in the near future across the country and here in Mississippi. Congressman Gass, thank you for joining us uh, this afternoon. You've been in D.C. amid the protests and unrest. Your thoughts on the death of George Floyd and the protests that we've been seeing across the country? You know, uh, I think what we're seeing or what we saw last night was encouraging. We started to see uh, that uh, the demonstrations uh, were peaceful, uh, unlike several nights before where we saw looting and uh, destruction of, uh, of uh, private and public property. Uh, what we saw last night uh, was kind of the de-escalation of some of the tensions that we've seen uh, across the country. Uh, and so uh, I think that it was great to see that the protests that remain peaceful. Uh, I think that uh, people are very concerned uh, with what happened in Minnesota, uh, and I think that uh, they are exercising their First Amendment rights. And so I, I stand with the protesters uh, that do so in a peaceful fashion. Uh, but we continue to condemn anyone who would use those protests as a reason uh, to cause chaos and destruction. And so uh, it does seem to be that there is a de-escalation in tensions across the United States, and this will allow us uh, to be able to have a, a dialogue back and forth and, and to address uh, the issues at hand. Earlier this week, the president delivered his Rose Garden speech, uh, then walked to St. John's Church. Critics called it a photo op. What is your reaction to the president's action on Monday? You know, I, I think what the president wanted to uh, to show is that, you know, that uh, we were going to restore order. Uh, up to that point, uh, we had seen, particularly in Washington, D.C., uh, we had seen uh, the St. John's Episcopal Church uh, set fire the night before. Uh, we had seen graffiti painted on many of our national monuments. Uh, we had seen stores looted. Uh, and so I think the president wanted to, following the address to the nation, show that we were going to restore uh, order uh, to our cities, uh, and, and I think he accomplished that. Uh, and so, uh, you know, I, the, the, the number one thing that uh, the, the president ha has tried to do is to restore law and order uh, across uh, our, our United States. Uh, we've seen that the, the day following those addresses that we saw uh, that the protest again throughout our country remained um, mainly peaceful. There, that there were very few incidents of uh, of unrest, and so uh, I think that we are working toward restoring that order. And again, that would then allow us uh, to focus on some of the underlying issues uh, that uh, that and, and allow us as a nation to begin healing and to begin uh, getting back to um, back to. To, to business as usual in some sense. Uh, you're a former prosecutor and we've just learned that the charges against the officer uh, Chauvin are being upgraded to second degree murder and the other three officers have been charged. When you see that video, what's your reaction? You know, I, I think that, that that's the, 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 the right um, action on, the, on behalf of the prosecutors in this case. Uh, you know, uh, this was an investigation, and I think that that was what uh, the American people were, were being told, uh, that, look, we want to make sure that we have a chance to review all the evidence, talk to all the witnesses, and make the right decision. Uh, I believe it, it was the right decision very early on uh, to charge murder uh, for the officer who was most involved in the death of George Floyd. Uh, and now, at the conclusion of that investigation, uh, the officials there in Minnesota feel it's appropriate to charge the other officers. And so uh, I think that this was something that ultimately um, officers just wanted to, our, our law enforcement wanted to make sure that, that they had conducted a proper investigation that's now been done, and I hope that that also will will help um, serve to ease some of the tensions that we're seeing across our nation. Congressman Michael Gus, thank you for joining us. Byron, thank you for having me. Well, earlier this week, we spoke to U.S. Representative Benny Thompson on the protest. We also received statements from Senators Roger Wicker and Cindy Hyde-Smith. To see those statements, along with our complete coverage of the national and local protests, visit our website at WJTV.com.